New developments tonight involving President Trump's longtime friend and one-time campaign advisor. Today, Roger Stone was found guilty of seven charges, including obstruction and lying to Congress. As ABC's Trevor Alt shows us, Stone maintained his innocence throughout the trial. President Trump's longtime friend and one-time campaign advisor Roger Stone handed a conviction Friday in federal court, found guilty of all seven charges he faced. Do you have any comments at all? None whatsoever. The jury finding Stone obstructed a House Intelligence Committee investigation, tampered with witnesses, and lied to Congress about his attempts to communicate with WikiLeaks. Stone's trial was the last remaining case stemming from Robert Mueller's investigation. The indictment coming in January with Stone quickly proclaiming innocence. Everything that I did uh, regarding trying to get as much public attention to the WikiLeaks disclosures uh, among voters, among the media, is, is constitutionally protected free speech. That's what I engaged in. It's called politics. Stone's trial was rife with bizarre twists and turns. Prosecutors presenting threatening text Stone sent to a witness, one saying, you are a rat, another prepare to die. At one point, Stone was slapped with a gag order after posting a photo on Instagram, criticizing the judge and showing her photo alongside a crosshairs target. Roger Stone was President Trump's first political advisor, frequently pushing for Trump to run for office as far back as 1999. While he left the Trump campaign in 2015, he kept in close contact with the president up through the election. Today, the president reacting in anger to Stone's conviction, tweeting accusations that investigators like Robert Mueller and James Comey and Democrats like Hillary Clinton and Adam Schiff had all lied too, asking if this is a double standard never seen before in the history of our country. If Roger Stone gets the maximum sentence for each of these seven charges, he faces as much as 50 years in prison, though his sentence is likely to be far less than that, and there is still the possibility of a pardon from his friend, President Trump. Trevor Ault, ABC News, New York.